Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to learn about completing the square for a quadratic expression. So let's say that I have the following quadratic equation. I have the equation y is equal to 2x squared minus 12x plus 22. So here I have a parabola that has the following equation. And I want to write this equation, or, or I want to express this quadratic in the completed square form. Now we know that the completed square form for a quadratic expression can be written in the form y is equal to a times x minus h the whole thing squared plus k where h comma k are the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola and a is the stretch factor so our objective here is to write this in this completed square form so in other words for this particular for this particular parabola or for this particular quadratic expression i want to find the values of a h and k if i'm able to do that i can write this i can write this quadratic expression in the completed square form so one way to do that is just by equating these two expressions so if I have this 2x squared minus 12x plus 22 is equal to a times x minus h, the whole thing squared, plus k. Again, these since we want to just we simply want to write this equation in this form, we can simply equate these two and we can find the values of a, h, and k by comparing the coefficients. What do I mean by that? Let's expand the right hand side over here. What we have is a times x squared minus 2hx plus h squared and then we have k and if we distribute a we have ax squared minus 2ahx plus a h squared plus k now obviously since this is an equation or an equality what we have is the left hand side is equal to the right hand side now for the left hand side to be equivalent to the right hand side the coefficients of x squared have to be the same on both sides which means over here the coefficient on the left hand side is 2 so on the right hand side a is the coefficient of x squared so therefore it means what that means over here is that a is equal to 2 the coefficients of x also have to be the same on both sides so on the left hand side the coefficient of x is negative 12 and on the right hand side the coefficient of x on the right hand side the coefficient of x is negative 2 a h so we can say that negative 12 is equal to negative 2 a h and we already found a over here so we have minus 12 is equal to minus 2 times 2 times h so we can say over here that negative 12 is equal to negative 4 h and therefore we can say that h is equal to 3 so now we found the values of a and we found the value of h and the last thing that we see here is on the left hand side the constant term is equal to 22 on the right hand side the constant term is equal to a h squared plus k so we can say we can say over here that 22 is equal to a h squared plus k and we already have the value for a we know that a is simply 2 and we have the value for h h is simply 3 so we have 2 times 3 squared plus k and this is equal to 22 so we can say that k is equal to 22 minus 18 which is equal to 4 so now we found the values of a, h, and k. So if we write this, we can rewrite this expression in the form y is equal to a times x minus h, the whole thing squared plus k. So we can say that over here y is equal to a is just 2. So we have 2 times x minus h, the whole thing squared. So that's x minus 3, the whole thing squared plus k. So that's plus 4 over here. So what we've done is we've written this quadratic expression in the completed square form. And here we can also say that the coordinates of the vertex, and also say that the coordinates of the vertex for this parabola are h comma k, and since h is equal to 3 and k is equal to 4, we can say that the coordinates of the vertex over here are 3 comma 4. Let's look at another example here. Let's say that I have the following equation for a parabola. y is equal to negative x squared minus 4x plus 3 and again I want to write this expression this quadratic expression in the completed square form and find the coordinates of the vertex of this parabola or the coordinates of the turning point for this parabola next we can equate this we can equate this quadratic expression to the completed square form so we can say minus x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to a times x minus h the whole thing squared plus k Again, for this, for this quadratic expression here, we want to find the values of a, h, and k. 
And if we expand the right hand side here, we have a times x squared minus 2hx plus 8 squared. And we have plus k. And this can be written as ax squared minus 2ahx plus ah squared plus k. Now again in the completed square form, the coefficient, the coefficient of x squared is simply a. So in this completed square form, a is simply the coefficient of the x squared term. So we can say over here that a is equal to negative 1. Next we can compare the coefficient of the x terms over here. So we can say over here that negative 4 is equal to negative 2ah. And over here since a is equal to negative 1, we can say that minus 4 is equal to minus 2 times minus 1. So that's 2 times h. So we can say that 2h is equal to negative 4. And if we divide 2 on both sides, we get h is equal to negative 2. So now we found the values of a and h. And to get the value of k, we can compare the constant terms on both sides. So here on the left hand side, the constant term is 3. On the right hand side, the constant term is a h squared plus k. In other words, these are the terms that are independent of x. So we can see over here that a h squared plus k is equal to 3. Now a is equal to negative 1 and h is equal to negative 2. So we have negative 1 times negative 2 squared plus k is equal to 3. And minus 1 times 4, minus 2 squared is simply 4. So minus 1 times 4 is minus 4 plus k is equal to 3. And if we add 4 on both sides, we get k is equal to 7. So now that we have the values of a, h, and k, we can write this quadratic expression, or we can write the equation of this parabola in the completed square form. We can say over here y is equal to a, which is negative 1. So that's minus times x minus h, the whole thing squared. So that's x minus minus 2, the whole thing squared. So that'll be x plus 2, the whole thing squared, plus k, which is 7. So here is the completed square form, the completed square form for this quadratic expression. And the coordinates of the vertex of this parabola, the coordinates of the vertex for this parabola are h comma k, giving us the coordinates of the vertex of the turning point as negative 2 comma 7.